We have team coverage on this Wednesday morning. Erica Ritchie is standing by with the results from one of the big local mayoral races from yesterday. But first, let's get right to Kristen Burnell as Wisconsin has been called and President Trump has won that state, meaning he reached the threshold of 270 electoral votes. Kristen, what is the latest on the race for the White House? Well, good morning, Kate and Patrick. The latest, as you have mentioned, is Donald Trump has made a political comeback, winning the 2024 presidential election. He got all those electoral colleges he, votes that he needed to win. He got 277 votes, with Harris getting 224. Now, Donald Trump spoke just a few hours ago ahead of his declared victory. Before us will not be easy, but I will bring every ounce of energy, spirit, and fight that I have in my soul to the job that you've entrusted to me. This is a great job. There's no job like this. This is the most important job in the world. Trump was joined on stage by his vice presidential candidate J.D. Vance and several members of his family as he spoke from Florida to his supporters. Overnight, he won the key swing states of Pennsylvania and Georgia. Mail-in ballots still continue to be tallied, but just moments ago, he won in Wisconsin, clearing the 270 electoral votes needed to clinch the presidency. At last check in the popular vote, Harris had over 65 million votes and Trump had just over 70 million. Now, the current vice president has not spoken yet, but she was in D.C. overnight. Of course, Trump will now take office on January 20th next year. Reporting live from the State House this morning, I'm Kristen Burnell, 12 News.